Hey everybody, I'm in my wife's office just firing up my laptop getting ready to do an interview with uh, the radio station in Yorkton, Saskatchewan called The Rock. And uh, so I'm looking forward to doing that because Yorkton holds a special place in my heart. I actually uh, grew up there for six years, went to elementary school at St. Mary's there. And so I'm so happy for them to have a Christian radio station in my old hometown. Hope you're having a great day, everybody. God bless. Today we get to chat with one of the singer-songwriters who had a new music preview on the station this morning, and we'll play it again shortly. Corey Lewick, it is so great to have you. How are you doing today? I'm doing great and glad to be with you in Yorkton today and surrounding uh, communities. Yes, I should have added in there with your title. Former York tonight. Hey. Yes, indeed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go St. Mary's. All right. So, well, take us back. Uh, how long ago was it then that you're here in Yorkton? Um, actually, it was going back some time. Um, we moved there when I was six years old uh, or five years old in like 1975. So I did uh, elementary school there till after grade six, and then we moved uh, to Regina. So, but have great memories of uh, of Yorkton, and still, it still feels. It's funny after this many years going back through there anytime. It just still feels like home. Like, it's just such a great memories of growing up there. I still love it here. It's still awesome. Come back and visit sometime. We'd love to have you in person, uh, maybe when we got all this COVID-19 stuff uh, behind us. But again, like I say, so excited to, to have you join us. And sorry, uh, people are doing the math. They can kind of figure out how old you are. So <laughs> I, I apologize for exposing you there. <laughs> Not a problem. I'm proud. <laughs> well, Corey, uh, again, uh, we've been playing songs from you uh, for over the last decade since The Rock has been around. Uh, for you, when it comes to songwriting, releasing worship music, obviously, it's one thing to just say, for example, be a worship leader in a church, but to take those extra steps to really then want to spread music to just beyond a congregation in a particular church. Tell us about this journey for you to wanting to release music uh, professionally to radio and sharing that message a bit broader. Sure. Well, I mean, back in before I became a Christian, um, well, I played in a country band, which we spent a lot of time in Yorkton back then, <laughs> playing in, in the clubs and bars and at your exhibition there and different things. Uh, we were in a band called the Red Hot Burritos, and, uh, you know, we had songs on the radio back then, too. But when I became a Christian... Um, the life I found writing music for, for the kingdom was just like nothing I had experienced. There's, I mean, music has such a power. And, um, when you add the Holy Spirit into that, I, there is nothing that is like it. And so when I became a Christian, I automatically just started writing songs for, for God. And, uh, you know, I went to a very small church back then when I got saved, but music was a huge part of it. And our pastor at that time was a fantastic guitar player and uh, so I got right involved with with playing and and writing music and we actually did a little CD back then with our church and we had a fantastic band back then uh, my brother who had played in that uh, in the red hot burritos with me he was going to the church and my sister who plays piano and so and my dad was even playing the saxophone a little back then um, in that church band and we put out a little CD back then that's where I started writing and I've just done it every Ever since, and then probably, I guess, about four years ago, three, four years ago, I just really felt like God was giving me the opportunity to, to start putting some stuff down. And I reunited with a, a, a guy that I had played in a rock band with who became a producer in Saskatchewan and had worked with some really good talent here in Saskatchewan and got a hold of him and said, hey, I'm thinking of doing some songs. And so we kind of reconnected. I hadn't seen him for probably 15 years, and, and we reconnected, and uh, he we put together my first EP, which was called Life of Praise. I think it's going to 2017 now, with the first uh, first songs I put out, and just started releasing them. Felt like, hey, I'm going to send this out to radio, and if we can get some stations playing, that would be great. And if not, well, I'm loving doing this anyway. So, um, and it's just kind of built from there, you know. And uh, just, I really feel like. Um, that's what I'm called to do and just uh, give people some hope right now with music. And so that's what I'm doing, trying to, to share the love of God with people through music that I just love playing. Mm, and it's becoming so uh, great in a lot of ways that, I mean, even through something like uh, a, a pandemic, that this is allowing a lot of 
bridges to really be built and connect people together in a lot of different ways. Have you been able to find that working with different people, you know, in the industry, in a way, can be simplified thanks to some of the things that have been uncovered technologically over the last few years to make it a bit easier? Uh, well, it's certainly, I mean, with the internet and everything, of course, you're, you know, you're only, <laughs> you're connected in any, you can see the person, you can talk with them. I mean, this, we're going to be doing some new songs right away coming up with a producer that I've started working with out in Nashville. Um, and so we're actually, the first songs we did with him, which is Key to My Heart and a song called Thank You, I actually did fly down to Nashville to do the vocals for. Um, this time I'm going to do them from Regina and send it to him. So, you know, you don't have to be in the same city anymore to work with, uh, you know, a very well-known producer in the Christian uh, field. And so I'm able to work with somebody that, Normally, maybe I wouldn't be able to because the technology allows you to do something like that now. Uh, you'd have never been able to work with somebody without flying down there before, and, and this time I'm going to be able to do that through Zoom and other things. So, yeah, it has opened up doors. Well, and that was just it. The name really stood off the page when you had let me know about Key to My Heart, uh, seeing Ian Esklin, because we type in all of the singer-songwriter information for artists when we put them into our system, and I've typed in that last name yeah. plenty of times for some really big <laughs> names so how did that partnership come along with Ian yeah you know it's really interesting uh, with trying to get onto Christian radio across Canada of course you get to talk to people like yourself and, and Scott Fitzsimmons and and then trying to get on stations in Alberta and Ontario and stuff and and one of the guys out in Ontario who runs one of the big stations down there his name's Scott Jackson and uh, you know I've tried cracking their radio station with all the songs and I could never quite get on there and finally he said to me well, it's probably about a year ago now he said you know Corey I think you have some good stuff there but I think you should try a different producer for something um, and so I said well send me the names of some people so he sent me a list and I looked through them and I mean the one that stood out the most was Ian Eskelin because he's worked with everybody he's had like 25 number ones and I thought <laughs> well is this guy even going to take my phone call right so you know what I fired off an email to him and he called me that same day he said uh, Corey I was listening to some of your stuff and yeah you know there's some stuff here I'd I'd be happy to try a couple songs with you so I almost fell off my chair when when he said that and because I knew of the people he's worked with and uh, and I thought wow this is pretty incredible so yeah like God has just opened that door up just by somebody you know sending me an email saying here take a look at some of these producers and, and try them and so you know I didn't go for the bottom of the list I thought if I'm going in I'm going to try going for, for the top guy he recommends and I did and got a call and I'm like well that's just God opening up doors and so we're just walking through that now and it's been awesome working with him and I can't wait to do the, the next three songs with him. Yeah well your story reminds me a lot about how for King and Country talking about some of the people they wanted to work with and they just thought off the top of their head oh man wouldn't it be interesting we got Dolly Parton yeah. again they totally thought long shot for God only knows they can, she'll probably pass they got a call back and it's like you right. don't know unless you ask or you send an email or <laughs> worst they can say That's is right. no which is right where you would have been had you not said anything at all uh, you can only go up if you will in that sort of way and with God at the helm I mean anything as we know uh, is possible all things are possible, as the scripture says, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, so uh, for yeah, yourself, how would you describe exciting. yourself? Full-time musician? Do you use this just as uh, a complement to other things that go on in your life? Uh, yeah. how, how would you describe uh, that? Right. Well, I'd like to say it was full-time, but no, um, unfortunately, I still have a day job. Well, sure. I, you know, I own a couple businesses here in Regina, so God's really blessed me in that way that it... I, it does make things flexible for me that I can work around. Uh, I have one, actually, if you're ever in Regina, we have a pawn shop called Happy Jack's Pawn, and we like to say it's the happiest pawn shop in the city. And so uh, I have a great manager there. So I really honestly don't have to spend a lot of time there. 
Uh, but we have that, and then my wife and I own rental houses. So I find myself mostly doing uh, repairs and, and stuff like that on the rentals. And then in between that, I get to write music, play music, and uh, very involved with my church here, Harvest City Church, where I'm one of the worship leaders and also on the eldership team. So uh, I try and volunteer as much as I can around there and help out wherever I can. Mm-hmm. And so I stay very busy, but, yeah, I would love to at some point, you know, I'm really hoping and God opens up something where I can get out and do some more playing. Uh, that's where I really feel called to just lead people in worship and encourage them. Uh, I have a lot of energy for that. If you ever get to see, uh, if you want to go online and, and check out any of the Sundays where I'm leading worship at Harvest City, you're going to see I love the, the energy and the power of just uh, giving everything I have to praising God. Mm-hmm. It's all you ever wanted to know on The Rock 98.5. We're chatting today with Regina Bay singer, songwriter, Corey Lewick. We might also add former York tonight as we went off the top of the program with that. And Corey, I want to take advantage of the fact that Woo. it's it's a spring break, <laughs> or rather winter break. It's February, Jordan. Get it together. It's winter break, and the weather would seem to tell us <laughs> that. Uh, but uh, there might be some young people listening perhaps uh, this morning, and they love playing music. Uh, maybe in that worship setting, Sunday morning church. What sort of do you have any guidance for maybe young musicians that are maybe pondering in their hearts, uh, maybe taking their music uh, to the next level? Any sort of advice for those young people listening, or anyone I guess young at heart then too? Yeah. Yeah, well, I think, A, I guess, you know, it, it takes some discipline. I think uh, that's one of the things that you got to remember if you want to play skillfully. Um, it's going to take some discipline. So don't give up on it just because, you know, it's hard to learn that one guitar part or hard to learn that drum part. I mean, I'm, you know, I still have trouble. When I'm a drummer. That's actually what I do uh, as for instrument-wise. Um, so I know that there's still songs and I struggle with, oh, man, how does he do that? Don't give up. Uh, practice. There's nothing wrong with practicing hard at your skill and, and giving it back to God. So I would encourage you that way for the younger people. Go hard after you know the practice put the discipline in Um, we're supposed to play our instruments skillfully as the bible says and then for the people that are getting a little older like don't give up on on your dreams of of doing music and and you know i mean this is kind of strange i'm at uh just turned 51 and and now god's opening doors for me that i couldn't have even imagined before right and uh but he gave me a you know a real word of back a few years ago because i thought like is it's am i getting too old to even keep pursuing this but he just reminded me of some of the people in the bible and how long it took them to see their dreams come fulfilled and and uh sarah she was uh, what 89 or 99 when she had that baby so uh, you know don't give up on the dream if god's put a dream in your heart to do something then uh you know the worst that can happen is you practice hard and give them your best what's wrong with that if nothing else happens right you've given god your best so just give them your best go hard and and praise Jesus. Absolutely. Corey, I want to thank you so much for taking some time to join us today here on The Rock 98.5. Before we get to Key to My Heart, was there anything else you wanted to add? I uh, just want to encourage you. Uh, this song I wrote, um, it really just, I think one of the reasons it's opened up a lot of new stations with this song is co- obviously working with a with somebody like Ian has helped, but just the heart of this song is that God reaches the broken wherever they are. And I know that's the heart of, of God is to reach those people. And, uh, you know, I think just uh, make that your prayer, too, that God will help you reach those lost and broken people right now. There's a lot of people that uh, are uh, going through some tough times right now in isolation. And, boy, your phone call or your text or something that that could reach that lost or broken person right now. And that is the heart of God. So, you know, ask God to re- Reveal to you somebody maybe in the next couple of days that you could reach out to and encourage right now. So I'll leave you with that. And God bless you. Uh, thanks so much for having me on. Oh, thank you, Corey. Again, Corey Lewick today on All You Ever Wanted to Know. That-